we want to take a look at multiplying complex numbers. And remember, a complex number has the letter i in it. And one thing that you always want to remember when you're doing the multiplication is that i squared is the same thing as negative 1. So let's do an example so that we can kind of see why we need to know that. Uh, the first one, that's a distributive property. So I'm going to get 7i times 1 is 7i. 7 times 7 is 35, and i times i is i squared. So that's that i squared. So I'm going to substitute in now for i squared, I'm going to substitute in negative 1. And I'm going to get 7i plus 35. Now remember when you write your answers, you want it in an a plus b i. So you want your i term second. So this should actually be 35 plus 7i. Now the second one over here, it kind of reminds me of FOIL, or you can think of it as a distributive property, whichever one is easier for you. So if I'm going to use that FOIL, remember you're going to take the first, and then you're going to take the outer, the inner, and the last. So I'm going to get 5 times 6 is 30, minus 15i, plus 12i, minus 6i squared. So I notice I've got sets of i's, so I'm going to have to combine those. So 15 and 12, I've got minus 3i. But now remember, i squared is negative 1, so I'm going to get 30 minus 3i plus 6. 30 and 6 is 36 minus 3i, and that is in a plus bi form.